hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so today we are going to set up an uh, animation controller for the character now as you can see here in this demonstration this character has an, an idle animation which you can see so and in the right side you can see the preview of the animation controller which loops the idle animation instead so this is the part I am going to cover in this episode and after that I am going to move on to blend trees and how to use different animations and how to blend them together to simulate animations for different speeds of the character's movement. Alright so let's get the moment animations first. So I already have the idle animation I think I think I already have the idle animation yeah I have yeah so let's get first uh, walk which one should I use This one looks better. <clears throat> I'll download that uh, without a screen. Walk and then run. Do we have a sprint of fast run? Oh, in place is not working there. Let's use this one. Okay, now let me import those animations. Into the Unity project. Okay, let's preview them to see if everything is alright. Wait, why can't I see the animation? Ah, right. Wait, what's happening there? What about the running one? Something is wrong. Okay, FPX for Unity. Let's try this one. I download all of the animations. I just downloaded with the FPX. Right now, I have downloaded and imported them with FPX for Unity option, but still, I don't see any difference. So. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at this avatar we have created. In the rig section, oh, this is generic. Okay, let's try humanoid and apply. And in the animations, let's. Uh, okay, now it is not previewing also. So in the rig, I'll select humanoid. And avatar definition let's use this uh, drayer avatar the avatar that we already had 
now let's see what happens okay it seems the problem has been fixed good now let's do the same for the other animations as well select humanoid copy from avatar and use Dreyer avatar apply similarly now this should be okay oh didn't I apply the settings right now that is working running fine the sprint fine what about working all right okay now the animations are fine all right so now let's see how to apply one of these some of the, uh, these animations to our character so uh, as the first step i need to create an animator for the character so let's right click and create animator controller I'll call it anim controller now let's just use the term AC which stands for anim controller AC trayer and select the character mesh and drag and drop to the controller field this animation controller we created and double click on it to open so we have the entry state here and nothing other than that so let's create a new empty state let's call it idle and yeah now this is where I'm going to use the idle animation so i'm not going to make this any complicated like adding blend trees so 1d or two dimensional blend trees i just want to play some animations that's all so this is our idle animation so i'll select this and for this motion field i drag and drop this idle animation so this would be the default animation for the character so i need yeah so let's play the game and see what happens as you can see the idle animation played once but it didn't continue to loop let me show you again this time I'll disable going for maximize on play and I'll place the animator in this side so that we can see Now as you just I think I have to select the character in order to preview all right I have to select so now as you can see here this animation has been completed but not looping let's see again see it is running now and stop there so we need to loop that animation so let me double click on this no uh, let's go to the idle animation import settings and where do i have right so here in the animation options we have loop time let me enable it so it will continue to loop let's apply 
right now as you can see this animation is being looped in the right side and yeah you can see the animation in the character okay so but it still does not change to a walking animation even if I move so that's the next part I am going to cover and I'll do that part in the next episode and as always the source code will be available through my patreon page so if you like to support my work you can get the membership the link would be in the description below and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye